beautiful family. We are bettering it forward this morning. Mind me, my brain's a little slow this morning. Uh, so, I told you guys I was going to show you the keto diet and the, the uh, meal plan that I try to kind of stick with. Um, I was recommended by a doctor because of my seizures to follow this plan. It releases different hormones and does different things for your body. It's actually a great diet to be on. Uh, you can lose weight on this diet. You can, you know, change your train of thought. You can, it's just a really good diet. Uh, <clears throat> if you don't know a whole lot about the keto diet and you have Netflix, I recommend you watch the, the uh, movie called, or the documentary called uh, Magic Pill. Um, it's a about families who switch to the keto diet. They literally clear out the cupboards and switch to the keto diet. One of the families has an autistic girl, autistic daughter, and um, before she was on the keto diet, she was she couldn't even speak. And when they switched her to the keto diet, within seven weeks, she actually started speaking and eating better, and <clears throat> she didn't just want chicken nuggets and stuff like that. So. I recommend you guys watch that video if you know nothing about the keto diet. So, what I'm making this morning is one of my favorite breakfasts. I love, 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 like the breakfast bowls, stuff like that. So, that's what I'm going to make for you guys this morning. Um, one trick to a breakfast bowl, mind my kid in the background playing. One trick to a breakfast bowl is I always didn't know what to do with the potatoes. You know, you can't, you can't eat potatoes with keto diet, it's got too many carbs in it and all that crap. So, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what, they do mashed potato cauliflower, you know, which I love. I love the mashed potato cauliflower. So, what I ended up doing is this piece of the cauliflower that most people throw away, the stalk, I chop it into four pieces and I then chop it again this way and I fry it up. I fry it up with a little bit of coconut oil and some water, just like that, and I just let it simmer while I'm making the rest of my breakfast bowl, and it turns out really great. It turns out just like potatoes. So, might give it a shot. Might not be your thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm typically even off the keto diet a uh, vegetable lover, anyways. So, it, it, I don't mind it. So then, the second thing... Oh, hold on. One second. Got a four-year-old here we're dealing with. Okay, thank you. My kid is currently sick, so she constantly like needs help blowing nose and all that good stuff. Nice thing to talk about when you're you know, cooking. Uh, wash your hands before you cook. Good idea. It's so that dreamy season. So, anyways, I also like onions uh, in my breakfast bowl. So, I've already pre-chopped some onions. I know onions are kind of not keto. They're on that line. So, don't use very many onions uh, if you're trying to keep your carbs low. So, I just add them straight to my potatoes. Just to give it a little flavor. As you can see, I didn't use all of them. a little flavor, you know, tastes really good. Um, I've also added salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic, garlic powder to uh, my cauliflower and that helps kind of make it taste like potatoes even more. Um, if you do not have the pink Himalayan salt, I recommend getting it. It's got way more minerals in it for you. It's way better than just your you know your regular table salt. So definitely get you some pink Himalayan salt. If you buy one of these, I could teach you a trick. Leave a comment below if you'd like to know that trick on how to refill these ones. Um, because most people are like they just pitch them and then go buy another one. And I've actually learned a trick on how to refill these things. And in my cabinet here you can see I have a big old bottle of it. I use it in almost all my meals. So the next thing you want to do, you want to go ahead, I put sausage in my breakfast bowl. This is four ounces 
of sausage. It's a fourth of a pound of sausage. Your good old country sausage. Now, this I actually got at, I think, Ruler. You can actually get turkey sausage, which has a little less fat, at Walmart for $1.50. Which is usually what I go with just for the cheaper price. Um, but if you actually get the actual country sausage, if you look at the macros on it, you're talking 16 grams, okay, 16 grams of fat per two ounces. So right here, we're getting two servings of that fat, 32 ounces, or 32 grams of fat, zero carbs. So, if you want to keep your calories down and you're still trying to get your fat up, I would go with the turkey sausage, but hey, that's just me. So, we're going to put this in the pan here. I'm going to get my little scooper out. Put this in the pan, get frying up. Like so. I'm also new to a gas stove. Our new house has a gas stove, so I'm still learning how to use a gas stove. Okay, they told me it had a dishwasher, and I, was, I had to ask my wife how to use a dishwasher. I've never had a dishwasher in my life. My dishwasher is my hands. So, and quite honestly, I've still been using my hands. So, we're going to get this clicked up. I do enjoy the fact with a gas stove that I can, like, turn it down anytime I want, which is nice. So, another tool that I use, and if you don't have one, go get one. Because these things, right here, they're like a dollar uh, at the Dollar Tree or Walmart or anything like that. Go get you one of these things. They're for mashing the meat down in your pan so that you get a nice even cook. Because uh, no one likes it when like your meat's just not cooked thoroughly or like cooked like all the way the same. So I use this a lot, especially with hamburger. You can mash it down in your pan. Flip it, mash it down again, it's good to go. So we're just going to start mashing this up, get it cooking. I do tend to buy like the spicy sausages a lot of the time. Spicy kind of gets your metabolism going. Uh, I add a lot of I add a lot of cayenne pepper to all my meals. Um, cayenne pepper is like really good for metabolism, uh, digestion, health. I know it's spicy, guys. Might make your belly hurt the first couple times you use it. Just start out slow and then kind of add and add as you like for taste. Uh, but this I didn't add the uh, the stuff just because I don't have it on hand right now. Because it's at my other house. Dang it. So, we're going to take another small pan. I know this pan's dirty. That's because I already cooked breakfast for my kid. And my kid likes her potatoes. Or not her potatoes. Her eggs a little different than when I'm eating them. Turn that down a little bit. So, my eggs. Trick to my eggs. Okay. There's three eggs in here. I added a little butter to it. Melt your butter in the bowl that you're going to put your eggs in. So melt your tablespoon of butter. It adds a little extra fat. Uh, gets you going for the day. I have a bunch of doctor's appointment traveling a lot today. So I need a little extra fat because I know I'm not going to eat until later in the day. Uh, so yeah, add your butter. Melt it up. Put your eggs in there. Then I put a little bit of pepper, my salt, my garlic in there. And then you're going to turn your stove on here. Click, click, click. Trick to eggs, too, guys. If you like those nice, fluffy eggs like what you can get at a restaurant. Grab my other spatula here. Ugh. Trick to eggs, if you really like that fluffiness, you know, those nice, fluffy eggs that you get served at restaurants and stuff, the trick is to blend, 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 whisk, 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 whisk your eggs, okay? That's the trick. We're going to go ahead and check on this sausage. Get it moving around here. As you've noticed, 
There is a spatula for eggs. There is a spatula for meat. Do not combine, okay? Yucky. Don't do it. It's nasty. Raw eggs going into your nice cooking meat. That's just gross. Don't do it. Yeah. Also, if you see anything in this video that you'd like to know where I got it or where I purchased it, uh, just leave a comment in this, in, below and I will answer your questions promptly. And we will get that taken care of so that you know exactly where I bought it, how I got it, all that good crap. Because there is some different things that I'm going to use today. So I'm actually going to show you how to make a uh, keto friendly gravy that I absolutely love. I love gravy. So I actually found some flour and stuff like that where you can make a keto friendly gravy. Uh, get these eggs turning here. Looking good, looking good. Everybody knows how to make eggs, so I really don't think I need to explain that. If you don't know how to make eggs, I mean, call your mom. Call your grandma. Call whoever you get a call to make eggs. My breakfast bowls are normally a lot egg, more than anything. So, that's just how I like it. Alright, these eggs are looking done. Now, take your gravy spatula. Or you're not gravy. Your meat spatula. Take your lid off. Turn your stove off. And scoop your meat into your eggs. Like so. Try not to lose that fat that's in there. You know, your grease that's in there. Try to try to leave that in the pan because I'm going to show you a trick with that here in a second, okay? So, we're doing that now. It's okay if there's a little bit of meat left in there. No big deal. Doing it like that. We're going to turn this down. Like so. And I may not eat all this, guys. This this is kind of a lot. I may actually save some of it. Take it with me in like a meal prep. Just in case I get hungry kind of after one of my appointments or something. Okay? So there's that. Now, on to the gravy. Trick about gravy. Gravy? Gravy, Haley. Gravy. We love gravy. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, normally I use the, uh, Dad, what are you <clears throat> normally I use heavy whipping cream. I don't have any. Guys, I'm broke right now, and the store is like nine miles, okay? So, today I'm using milk. Don't use milk. It's got a bunch of carbs in it and shit like that. Use heavy whipping cream for this part, okay? So, we're going to add a little milk. And then, my favorite thing that I've ever found in my life, I love it, it's so great, it's full of awesomeness, this is gluten-free coconut flour, all organic, okay? So, this step right here, you're looking at four carbs and two teaspoons, okay? And two teaspoons is what we're going to use, so... I'm going to eyeball my, well, oh, no, I forgot to let the scoop in here. I'm going to eyeball my two teaspoons. I think for this one, we actually might only need one teaspoon, so we'll try it that first. Grab me another spatula here. And you're just going to kind of mix this around with the fat. Why is it like that? to add just a little bit more milk. Get in the dog! 
really wish I had the uh, whipping cream. Wish I had the whipping cream, but I don't. But there it is. You gravy? Oh. That, right there. Add some pepper. There's your gravy. All you gotta do, take this, dump it over, dump your cauliflower and your onions over, put your gravy on top, like so. Make sure all your burners are off. Give it a good mix around, and boom. Magic Keto breakfast bowl. Better forward guys, there's my keto meal of the day.